Tinder me this. How many of you guys have started doing online dating? Well, how many will actually raise their hand versus the truth? Because stats show that one in five people are now looking for love in all the URL places. So. <laughs> What up? Welcome to Magic vs. Logic Sex, Love, and Relationship Advice for Generation X and Y in a new location. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. How it works is as following. I read out a question written to me from you guys that is new age or new media based, and then I answer it from two perspectives, one from the head and one from the heart, and then you guys get to vote afterwards on which advice you think is the better one to go with. We're going to begin today with the question, which is oh so very new media. Meet Kayan. She is looking for happily ever after, but hasn't had a lot of success in reality. Could Tinder prove to be dream worthy? The club is meant for everything, but finding lasting love. And we shouldn't ask of it things, it just cannot provide. Tinder claims up and down that it is not a hookup app whatsoever. However, a lot of the users on there do kind of seem to think so. So I'm suggesting, KN, if you're looking for love and a genuine relationship and you've been discouraged in the past by the mates that you've been choosing, Tinder may not be the best place for you because it is identical to looking for your soulmate at the club. Think about it. At a club, it's based solely on physical appearance and how the person looks in the club versus how they look in daylight could be drastically different. I'm talking Jekyll to Hyde in some cases. In addition, it's all about going there under the guise that you're going out with friends, but many people are there to find someone to come home with. So it's hard to distinguish who's there for the actual reasons of looking for a mate or to have a general good time or who just wants to score and will do that at any cost necessary. And I don't know if you wanna be swiped right into that type of bracketing, but I'm guessing from your actual question that that isn't the case at all. So my suggestion to you, I know Tinder seems trendy, a lot of people are using it, it kinda of seems like the less invasive form of online dating, but for your particular case, you're going to require a lot more tedious weeding out in order to renew your faith in men. So my suggestion to you, try specific niche focused dating apps and or go to specific places, go to networking events, go to coffee shops in the right areas that you like, go to, go to Mac stores. That's another great way to meet smart, interesting, intelligent men. Just put yourself out there more and don't resort to the easy access Tinder. The mind that opens to a new idea never returns to its original size. Millions of people are joining this app every single day. It is the fastest growing online dating app and the numbers keep showing and proving that. Even if you wanted to find yourself an Olympian, Russia had a huge boom when it came to the Winter Olympics. So you could find a whole wealth of people who are trying this app just like you for the first time. The great thing about Tinder as well too is that when it first began, it was mainly about people 18 to 24 and now they only represent half of the population. So you're getting a lot of people 25 and plus who are looking for something a bit more serious and not just hookups as some of the stereotypes will have you to believe. The amazing thing about Tinder as well too is you can truly challenge your taste. You are have the opportunity, for example, to walk into a room and see a plethora of different guys and think, he's cute, he's cute, he's cute, then your brain kicks in and says, ah oh, no, but he won't like me or he's not my type or I'm not his type and you never try to pursue. Tinder gives an equal opportunity for other people who may not feel comfortable approaching you and vice versa to start a conversation. And that's all this app is asking you to do. So I'm not promising you you're going to find your forever, but I definitely think you're going to challenge what your forever is and hopefully be pleasantly surprised. Stephanie, that is it for this episode of Magic vs. Logic. Now tell me, what do you guys think? Should KN try using Tinder as a way to get her feet wet back into the dating game after jumping in to ice cold, traumatic, terrible waters? Is this the best way to get herself? warmed up to the idea of love once again. Do not forget after you vote also, if you have any experience on Tinder or with online dating or lack of experience that you want to share, please leave an in-depth comment and the best will be read out on next week's episode along with the final verdict. Whoa, hey, hey, hey! You weren't thinking about leaving, were you? Good, 
because I have more information for you guys. I have another YouTube channel now called youtube.com slash Shannon and you, which is individual webcam time with all of your questions that are asked on shannonteresa.com slash contact, fill out the form, ask your question, and go over there and look for the in-depth one-on-one -on -one answer. In addition, there's other videos you may want to check out. So our time doesn't have to end session. Just yet. Sensual session.